What is up YouTube? My name is Sebastian aka Sebast1313 and I've got a video here today, um, Crisis 2. So I picked this up uh, a few weeks ago I think. Um, haven't played it too much, played quite a bit of the single player and this was actually my first night on the multiplayer and I ended up pulling host this game but I'll get into that later. Um, overall actually I'm really really enjoying this game. It's, I mean okay the classical it's no call of duty saying um, it isn't that's because nothing is anymore uh, black ops is, is barely even call of duty um, I mean you have modern warfare 2 sort of set the set the level really high and even though a lot it annoyed a lot of people it's sort of like it sort of screws with every other game ranking that we have um, but yeah, I, d I don't really want to talk about that too much. It's actually a boring subject for me. I just say play what you enjoy playing, and as long as you still enjoy playing it, why not? Um, so here we go, Crisis 2. Having a lot of fun with this game. It's something different. This is actually my first game where I tried out the sniper rifle. And obviously I'm not very good with it. As you see here in a minute, a guy's going to come up and I'm going to try to kill him. And it's going to fail pretty miserably. Yeah, right here. Um, but it it's fun. I like the game a lot. Yeah, and it's actually annoying. Uh, hitting square to skip the um, kill cam works, but if you hit it a tiny bit too early, you go to that person's uh, PlayStation Network profile, which I've never actually seen anyone ever care about at all. So that's slightly annoying. And I guess, I mean, I see why they have it as a feature. It's not a terrible idea. It's just there's no point in it for a game like this. Um, the single player is really, really fun. If you haven't picked up this game, for the I adv I recommend it for the single player alone as being well worth it. Um, the graphics are absolutely amazing, and the gameplay is fun, and the story really isn't too bad. Um, even I never played Crisis One, so I didn't know what was going on, but they explain it relatively okay, and I mean it's straightforward enough that. You'll be fine if even if you don't really care about the story enough to figure it out. A key part of this game and a part that takes a while to get used to is using your abilities correctly and the cloak and armor. I don't like cloak at all. I'm annoyed when people use it against me and this is actually a huge fail. Oh, oh no, the huge fail comes in a second. That was almost a huge fail. Um... The, right, the key thing is using them at the right times. For example, right here I had armor on for a long time and then I ran out of energy and then I got sort of trapped down there because I couldn't jump out. And that's just poor planning on my part. Um, cloaking sucks up energy so quickly that except for the one kill I get with it in here, it's really not worth it. And if you saw there, um, the gun battle started and I turned on my armor and got the kill. And in this one I still have my armor on and ended up getting the kill. Might have been a little bit host connection there. But unlike most people, I do not play with the index and middle fingers on the R1 and R2 buttons. Um, that's awkward for me because I like to have my middle finger supporting the back of the controller. I don't know if I grip the controller too tightly or something, but that's just how I have to hold my controller for it to work. Um, that said, to get those R2 and L2 quickly, I've sort of developed a twitch where my middle finger will just twitch up and sort of graze the button, usually enough to tap it. And when I do that right... I think it lets me activate it just as quickly as everyone who has the hit fingers on the button. Um, don't hold me to that, but it seems to be working pretty well right now. Oh uh, yeah, here's a bit of a fail. Hip fire spraying does not work in this game. Uh, there is a steady aim perk. I've heard some people have some success with it, but if you're holding an assault rifle, do not hip fire. Aim down the sight or melee. That's basically the options you have. Um, I think here I get a nice little kill on Boktai. Um, I thought it was fun. Oh no, it's in a little bit. Um, I think I fail here first on a guy who comes up behind me. Oh wait, no, here's the kill on Boktai. So yeah, I go into Cloak, um, and Boktai thinks he's all sneaky, cloaks as well, and stealth kill. Um, one thing that this game does do, and it might sound annoying to someone who's used to Call of Duty ways, but it really isn't too bad, is it will break up parties usually for the first match of a lobby and that's why Boktai and one other person from our party is on the other team 
Um, the only reason people might get annoyed by that is their win loss might go down a little bit, but it's not something that's hap like I don't know. I guess win loss in this game because it isn't the Call of Duty competitiveness isn't as big of a deal in my opinion. So I don't mind it, and it gets you into games really quickly, which is nice. Um, and then after the first game or so, it usually has added enough people for the party to be together, and it remembers the party, so it doesn't split you up after that. Um, hmm. So yeah, I'm saying I'm a lot, but that's... Oh well. Uh, for those of you who didn't notice, or who just don't know this game, this is the Headquarters game mode. It is my favorite game mode right now. I mean, they have TDM. Um, don't think they have a Domination. They have a Search and Destroy, which actually sounds interesting. Ehaz says he doesn't like it on the forums. Um, I've never tried it, but one team apparently gets pistols and the armor, like, and the nano suit stuff, and the other one gets whatever they want but no um, armor or stealth modules. And that's sort of interesting. I don't know. It seems like it could be good, but we'll see. Here, I think I actually switched classes, and I think I get, like, one more kill this game or no more kills. Oh, no, I think the game's... Is the game over? Yep, yeah, it's over. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Got the victory, 150 to 50. Um, I went 12 and 5. Only got 150 points. Didn't play the objective too much. But that's the basic look and feel I guess of the game so far and if you haven't picked it up I advise it it's a fun game even if you only do it for the single player it is worth it in my opinion um yeah so thanks for watching guys uh I'll see you all later